What is going on guys? It's your boy Live with Evil. I'm coming at you with a show review today. So, for those of you who don't know, I have been watching WandaVision and I've been really enjoying it as we, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of paying an homage to uh, television sitcoms throughout the years. Uh, they start off in the 50s and now they are clearly into the 2000s. Um, so far the homages that I've noticed is, uh, and there's others too, but these are the ones that are like clear and like I can think of right off the top of my head. Um, so they play, they've paid homage to the Dick Van Dyke show, I Love Lucy, Bewitched, Family Ties, uh, Malcolm in the Middle I noticed uh, was not this last episode, but the episode before. And uh, I couldn't quite pinpoint what they what they paid homage to this week, but uh, yeah, but it was a good episode, and uh, that's what we're going to talk about. So we're going to talk about episode seven, Wandavision. Uh, big reveal, spoilers, obviously. Three, two, one. Uh, Agatha Harkness. You know we've kind of known that this was coming. Now I don't really know who Agatha is even when I was like totally into comics I was reading them every week going to the comic book shop shout out to Samurai Comics by the way my boy Alex uh, if you're in uh, if you're in Arizona in the Phoenix area West Phoenix um, uh, Glendale and Dysart uh, in that area Samurai Comics West go see Alex he'll uh, yeah He'll take care of you. But, um, anyways, even when I was, like, in the game, totally, you know, immersed, I still, I guess, well, X-Men and Scarlet Witch kind of were never really my thing. I'm probably going to catch a lot of flack for that, but it is what it is. Uh, I was more into, like, Doctor Strange, Iron Man, and uh, The Avengers, uh, Spider-Man, Miles Morales, th th that's the stuff that I read every day. Thor, um, but yeah, um, so I don't really know who, uh, Agatha is, but she's a, obviously she's a witch of some kind, or sorceress, and, uh, they've kind of, kind of, kind of made a big reveal, and that, like, she's kind of behind the whole thing, um, and I like where it's going. Like, we finally, uh, they've been kind of leading up to, uh, Monica Rambo's fat, uh, what's her name? Photon. There you go. And, uh, they basically they created Photon in this episode. Uh, obviously, she doesn't know how to use her powers or anything, but, like, she knows that they're there now. And uh, her and Wanda kind of had a little standoff thing where Wanda realized, oh, she's got powers. I don't know what I did. And uh, so that's cool. So I'm pretty sure there's going to be one more episode. I think they said it was slated for eight episodes. Uh, I hope that's the case because if they left it where they're leaving it now, oh, my God, is there going to be an uproar? <laughs> But yeah, I I was really thinking that they were going to kind of bring Doctor Strange into this, and they still might, but I really hope they do, uh, just because that's the route that it's going, like in that they're going deep into the magic realm here, and uh, I'd really like to see Doctor Strange make an appearance, especially since they've like openly said that the next Doctor Strange movie, movie is going to uh, heavily feature Wanda, so it'd be cool. We get a little bit of uh, Darcy and Vision kind of having their thing, and then Vision realizes, oh, duh, I can fly. Let me let me go check this out because they keep getting they keep getting delayed, and obviously he thinks it's Wanda trying to keep him at bay from coming home, but. Clearly now it's Agatha. She's pulling those strings. But uh, anyways, 
so yeah these are these are my quick thoughts on the episode I, I thought it was really good I thought it was well written uh, we got a lot of cool moments uh, the person that uh, Monica was waiting for her friend who's a tech genius or whatever was not who I thought it was gonna be people were like thinking Reed Richards or Riri Williams but I, I didn't think it was gonna be any of those people but I didn't recognize the name of the person, so I don't know. I think that was kind of a missed opportunity, but uh, maybe that'll pay off in a later later episode or next season or something. Um, but yeah, anyways, in the meantime, uh, we're going to wait till next Friday, and I'll come out with another video then. Anyways, it's your boy Lab of Evil, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.